Assalamu alaikum. This book begins by examining the ancient origins of Jerusalem, exploring how it became a central part of Jewish religious identity. It delves into how King David established the city and the construction of Solomon's temple, which became the spiritual heart of Judaism. Jerusalem was seen as the city of God, deeply intertwined with the Jewish people's covenant with Yahweh. As the book progresses, it discusses Jerusalem's importance to Christianity. After the life, crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus, Jerusalem became a pilgrimage site for early Christians. It details the early Christian community in Jerusalem and how the city's secret spaces, such as the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, became pivotal in Christian worship. It also discusses the transformation of Jerusalem during the Roman Empire and later under Byzantine rule. It examines the Muslim connection to Jerusalem, starting with the Prophet Muhammad's night journey and ascension to heaven, which is commemorated at the Dome of the Rock. After the Muslim conquest of Jerusalem in the 7th century, the city became the third holiest site in Islam. It outlines the religious significance of Jerusalem to Muslims and the establishment of Islamic architecture and institutions in the city. Jerusalem is a city that has been constantly contested, with its significance leading to frequent power struggles, invasions and conflicts. This book delves into the Crusades when Christians sought to reclaim Jerusalem from Muslim rule and the subsequent reconquest and shifting control of the city between Christian, Muslim and Jewish powers. This book would not be complete without discussing Palestine and modern Israel. It discusses how Jerusalem's spiritual importance continues to fuel political struggles. This book revolves around three themes. First, religious significance. It highlights how Jerusalem has evolved into a spiritual center for Judaism, Christianity and Islam, each faith imbuing the city with different religious meanings and values. Second, conflict and coexistence. It addresses the deep-rooted tensions between these faiths as they have historically fought for control of the city. At the same time, it highlights moments of coexistence and collaboration between them. And third, historical continuity and change. It emphasizes the city's enduring sacredness, even as its political rulers and populations have shifted over the centuries. This book has been praised for its balanced approach and scholarly depth. The author remains subjective while navigating through complex and sensitive topics, offering a historical lens to understand the religious and political significance of the city. Her ability to connect historical events with contemporary issues makes it particularly relevant. While it provides a deep historical narrative, it also touches on the emotional and spiritual connections that people have with Jerusalem, making it clear why the city has remained a flashpoint for millennia. This book is a comprehensive and insightful examination of one of the world's most contested and revered cities. It provides a historical narrative that underscores why Jerusalem holds such profound significance for Jews, Christians and Muslims, and why it continues to be a site of deep religious devotion and political conflict. If you are interested in history, religion or the Middle East, this book is essential to understand the complexities of Jerusalem. You can get it using the links in the description. If you like listening to me babbling about books, please subscribe and turn on notification. Thank you.